So today we are going to understand a very interesting topic of geography and that is the earthquake shadow zone. Let's understand what this diagram denotes to you. So whenever earthquake occur, so it occur beneath the earth surface and that point is called the focus. So this is the focus. So whenever earthquake is occur, there are two waves emerges from the focus travel inside the body of the earth and hence these waves are called the body waves. Majorly there are two body waves, primary wave and the secondary wave. Let's get talk about first the s wave how the s wave behaves inside the earth surface so whenever earthquake occur from focus the rays started travel inside the body of the earth so the s wave uh, travels like this so the widest distance it can penetrate is 105 degree right so this is the widest distance at which the s waves can penetrate it cannot penetrate through the core now why it cannot penetrate through the core because the outer core is in the liquid form and there is a property of SO that cannot penetrate through the liquid form. Hence, the widest uh, uh, angle it can penetrate is a 105 degree. So, this area is known as the SO shadow zone because this is the area where SO cannot penetrate and cannot be experienced. So, let's talk about the property of P waves, how P waves behave beneath the earth or inside the body of the earth so p wave travels like this so p wave there is a property of p wave that it can penetrate in any medium that means it can penetrate through core as well but it shows deflection when it enter core now why it shows deflection because there is a density difference between the uh, these two layers there is a core and the outer uh, layers of the earth now whenever this p wave started traveling like this it bend towards the center of the earth now why it bend towards the center of the earth because there is a highest density in the center of the earth and when there is a change in medium the rays travel towards the denser medium and hence it bend towards the center of the earth and when it bends towards the center of the earth it criss cross at the center of the earth and it refracted and re emerged at the other side and the widest distance it can penetrate it is the 145 degree angle so this area again remains shadow for the p waves it cannot penetrate in this area there is a between 145 and 105 degree so both the side 105 and 145 this area are again a shadow zone of p waves and this whole area from 105 to 105 is a shadow zone of the s wave i hope you get the concept if yes then please like this video and if you have any comment please let me know in the comment section thank you